coming up in this video. Due to a logistical mistake for the entry requirements into the UK, we have accidentally overstayed our Schengen travel visa, and now it's time to face the music. We are taking an overnight ferry that's more like a cruise ship from Spain to England. And I get my first taste of driving our left-hand drive vehicle on the left side of the road. All right. Big bus, up. big bus. Hello, we are Ben and Rebecca, and this is our puppy, Lucia. In the fall of 2021, we shipped our 4x4 camper van, Denny, across the Atlantic in search of new experiences and a life less ordinary. Welcome to our journey. Well, it's the moment of the truth. We have uh, filled up the fuel tank and are on approach to the uh, ferry terminal here. And we have our paperwork in order for not being in order. If you watched our last video, you will know that we made a grave accident. It was a genuine mistake. And we overstayed our Schengen time off a logistical thing. And we knew it was gonna happen couldn't help it just watch the previous video but we have some stamped paperwork i hope it's gonna work i hope they don't like put some stamp on our passport like violators or some crap like that we do not want that because we want to also return to schengen and that is one of the things if you overstay your schengen like one of the worst cases is you can't come back to schengen so wish us luck we are driving through Santander on our way to the gate. And never been here before, so this is all new. It just looks open. Coming down on top of the truck. Mm -hmm. On an adventure before dementia. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Luchi? I'm ready, just don't leave me. So I need your passport and your red pass. <laughs> Off in the distance, you can see the ferry moving around. I'm not sure if it's arriving or just jockeying into another position, but that's our boat. Okay. What was that, Looch? They don't know. They keep doing it to me. They microchipped you. Where we go, they do that. Okay, you have keys. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. you. Lane 15. Hola, buenos dias. Hola. Can you open, please? Sure. Well? Well, that was a uh, simple just peek inside make the sure uh, door. Make sure we're not smuggling anything tremendously large. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's pull forward. And I think we wait for a little bit. I think so too. Our friend Chris walked by and waved. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. So this Schengen overstay situation, it has been very, very stressful. And it has been an active part of our lives or this dark cloud hanging over us for three weeks. And part of me wonders the situation here is what if we just, because it's only like a seven day overage, just roll up to the gate here and act like a stupid American tourist. Like if like, oh no, we're good, we're good. And then just play the stupid card. Or do you try to get the proper documentation like we did, but you gotta wonder like, would it have saved us three weeks of stress? Like we're talking a, a gut bomb stewing and just, oh, it's been horrible. I will honestly say it has been horrible and I just wonder, like, did we waste all this energy and stress for nothing? So there it is. Hey, Chris. Well, they're uh, doing line by line by line, but now it's our time to move and see what lies ahead for us. It all started with a little bitty look. It's on the river by the railroad. Well, I knew there was gonna be something. There is a, another booth. So probably gonna have to show our passports again and we'll see how that goes. All right, well, this is going to be the moment of truth because there's the EU sign. Muchas gracias. 
Oh my goodness, we have put ourselves through so much stress over the past three weeks because we have overstayed. And then we just go right through that booth and they do the regular thing. You know, you hear the chukunk, chukunk as they stamp the passports. Take it for what it's worth. If you do make a mistake and overstay your uh, Schengen time, do you try to resolve it? I certainly, you know, we were of the mindset we're not going to like invite problems. You know, we're just going to pull up to that booth and give them our passports. We're not going to like say, oh yeah, we overstayed our Schengen. Not a good move. But who knows? There's a chance that maybe in the computer there was something that says you had an extension or maybe he just stamped it. But you'd think the computer would uh, be able to tell the number of days. So I don't know. But here we go. board now we've got to get our bags out of the back and go find our cabin this is a vessel where you cannot stay in your vehicle while it's underway you have to book either a room or seats and because we have Lucia with us we either had to book a room or put her in a kennel so we booked a, a cabin and go find it now this morning we packed up a bunch of stuff for our little hotel room thing and now I don't necessarily know where I'm going well let's go this way okay let's go this way okay this is not it huh. where do we go okay we might be on the right path now well this looks like the right area oh you have my phone yep now you can have it back she's a little ninja dog no nobody ever knows she's in there <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I think everybody's a little squished. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They have very specific dog areas and uh, there's stickers showing where you can go and be. We uh, originally had a window room, but uh, when we had to change our ticket, all that was left was an inside berth. Here we go. It's dark in here. There we go. Now we got some light in the doorway at least. Whew. Definitely feels good taking a mask off. Uh, look forward to the day when we don't need these anymore. You always get an ensuite in these rooms as well. So shower, toilet, sink. It's pretty nice. Yeah, that will do the job. There's gotta be better lighting in here. Mm -hmm. oh. Like this like, is. Do you see any other lighting? I don't. It's crap lighting for my camera. Jeez. You ready to get out? You see where we came? Hi, Luch. Hey. Get me out of there. This is your home for the night. Okay, this is creepy. It's May, and their little radio here plays Christmas music. I better be careful with this because it'll trigger copyright violations. Okay, Luch, I'm gonna go scout the place out. Are you okay being here with Mama? Well, Mama settles us in. Okay, mask on and going to find us some uh, food. Okay, let's check this out. What am I missing here? Seriously? Uh, push. Ah, big red button. I'm glad they made it red. <laughs> wow, hi guys. Okay, this is the stern and the dog area. Ah, pardon me.
Hello, Chris. Came up one level here and, oh, that's a staircase, another level. I know this is a vehicle ferry, but this is the most deluxe ferry I have been on. It's almost like a cruise ship. Well, and there's the fancy elevators like a cruise ship. Looks like a uh, dining area. This looks like some type of a uh, snack bar. All right, let's see what's on deck eight. Here's a groovy lounge and somebody's gonna be playing uh, live this music. Is, uh, from all right, found the swimming pool. So I think this is one of the uh, rooms where you rent a chair for the journey so you have a place to uh, sit. Hey, we're leaving. Nobody told me. I was supposed to queue up some uh, camera shots for this. Jeez. I know when you're making uh, long passages, there's a genuine risk, so they have a helicopter pad. This fresh air feels wonderful. And uh, this is the uh, city of Santander. Didn't spend any time here aside from a fuel stop, but that's the way it goes. Uh, maybe we'll hit it on the next time. Who knows what the future holds. Your attention please. For security reasons, we ask you not to leave the luggage Thank you for your cooperation. point I think I'm satisfied I've made my way around the ship enough and uh, it's time for dinner but I did find where the dogs are so Lucy's in the bedroom with us but she doesn't have to she could go in a uh, kennel up here but we just didn't have the heart to do that because that puppy has never been out of our sight or away from us for any period of time maybe a couple times with uh, grandma and grandpa that's about it. Hi there. Oh, the beautiful doggies. Hello there. Hi guys. Hi Inka. Hi Inka. Oh, that's a girl. Oh. Well, Lucy should consider herself lucky because Remy and Shelby, they used to go in crates and they would have been completely fine in that room. Okay, got some pretty crazy hair happening here, but I did find food. I actually started eating it without you, and then I remembered I had to probably show it to you. So that's bouffe bourguignon, peas, and mash. For the record, they call, it's not mashed potatoes, it's just called mash. And this is some type of a chicken breast and pasta. How you doing over there? Fine. Yeah? As long as I don't face backwards, I'm fine. Getting a little queasy? Not now that I'm laying forward. So. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish my dinner, and then once Rebecca is ready to eat, she'll enjoy hers. night. Can't say that for Beck. I think we have about another three hours to go on our journey before we hit Her Majesty's shores and uh, time for coffee. Well this is breakfast. Opted for coffee, some fresh fruit, croissant, and we brought yogurts. They were also serving an English breakfast which we had a Spanish version of it yesterday and it was fair but this one was served with beans and toast. And just for breakfast especially, and also kind of generally, the beans and toast combination is totally new to me. I'm gonna try it at some point, but my first instinct says, it doesn't sound very appetizing. You ready to get off this boat, Lucy? 
You've been such a good girl, huh? Yes, you have. A vehicle import permit, temporary import permit, because we're American vehicle. No. no? Okay. Yeah. If we go to Ireland, does that? How does that affect our six months? Northern and the, southern. The regular part. We want to do it all. Northern all Ireland here. counts well, towards. So, so I mean, effectively, that resets your clock. Yeah. If you go out, then you come back in again. And get another six months. Don't worry, I don't want to winter here. You might here. be pushing that, but, uh, but effectively, yeah, because yeah. You, you know, you, it's, um, it should be all right. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's a good exam question, that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm testing you. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks for your service. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Have you got any cigarettes, alcohol, tobacco? A Just a couple. Bottles of wine. Okay, what are cigarettes? No, tobacco, no, none of that. No. no. All right. What's in the back of that? It's, it's a camper. living space. It's, a, it's an RV. Yeah, it's our cabin. Yeah. I'm having that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the UK. Thank, Thank you. you. Ah, we did it. We're here. Wait, honey, do you hear that? Let me roll up the windows. One sec. Okay, it's quiet. Do you hear that? I don't know. What do I hear? It's not. It's faint. Are you sure you don't hear it? We don't have a Schengen clock ticking. Oh. We have six months of Big Ben ticking right now. Okay. Yeah, he's a lot quieter at six yes, months. six months, baby. No, uh, nothing for Lucy. No, oh, she got that. in. There was no big deal. Done. Welcome to Plymouth, Britain's ocean city. All right, I am seriously going to be working. All right, stay on the left. Stay on the left. Cars are coming. Ben's first roundabout, <laughs> driving on the left-hand side in a left-hand drive vehicle. Yes. <laughs> I, I've done it in Fiji, but it was... You were driving yeah. on the proper side of the car. Now you're on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> and I am... Okay, that I'm side, not. babe. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, we made it. We didn't hit anybody. In the first few hundred yards, we did not kill anybody. So far, so good. Well, I think I got the hang of it now. All you have to do is just stay Whoa! on the right side. Lucy's helping you. She'll make sure you stay on the right side of the road. Look at this. You're helping drive, aren't you? Wow, look at that old building. What is it? The Duke of Cornwall Hotel. We uh, found a tobacco shop and we're going to go see if they have a SIM card for the phone company we want to get while we're here. Uh, we're going to try EE. Everybody says it's the best coverage in uh, the UK. Ben kept asking me to talk to you guys last night and I was afraid I would hurl if I attempted to do so. 
Um, so I thought I would just fill you in on my night. Uh, empty stomach, backwards facing cabin. So I sat down on a couch facing the back, which is a big no-no for me, no matter what kind of vehicle I'm in. Uh, I started feeling pretty punky. Um, so I did a lot of walking around outside. I found a place up on the ninth floor where I could get in where it was warm, um, but far away from people and I could see the horizon. And I finally, I slept there for like an hour maybe. And I finally started to feel better. Came back to the room, I got some food on my stomach. And, uh, and then from that point on, it was okay. So it was kind of a rough, a ride though coming out of Spain like once we got closer to England it was much smoother but anyway yeah it happens it's embarrassing I don't like talking about it it feels like a sign of weakness to me but it is what it is so here we are back to more exciting things than Becky's uh, seasickness we're gonna find this little tobacco shop and Ben's doing a great job of staying on the left hand side of the road don't jinx it I'm I'm just sure you're gonna do such this a fabulous a job. My, uh, hey, you're sleeping on the job, pup Lucy. Dog. You're supposed to be helping Daddy. Not okay. Okay, I'm back up. You slept for hours, Luce. All right. A big a bus. Big bus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But so there's no stops. Lights no. Green. Uh. No. It's green. Rat it's lights fucking... green. <laughs> Big bus. <laughs> you were about, it felt like you were about to pull out in front of that giant bus. I would have been toasted. Google's telling me to go this way. I think you're okay. Nobody's honking or flashing their lights at you. This was the British are nice. <laughs> Be perfectly all right. <laughs> Right, we're back on the road. Sorry for leaving you hanging like that. It was all hands on deck to figure out where to go, how to get parked so we could run our errands. But I was able to successfully find a um, place to get SIM cards, uh, pay as you go SIM cards with the EE company. Uh, ben found a little place to park in an alley where he could stay the whole time. It took a while because I had to walk all the way up and all the way back down. And I also found a couple of other things like I got some cash and because we changed currencies coming here. And I also found a new brick for our computer because I think we've told you guys that our bricks went bad since we came here. So. We are now on the road and we found a place to stay for the night and uh, I'm excited to see what we see in this new country. New, completely new place. But we speak the language, that'll help. We do, and I will say that getting phone cards um, today was dramatically easier than what I've experienced <laughs> the last few times because uh, we were both speaking the same primary language so it just made it all that much easier. We can't let it bypass that you and Lucy both get a new country today too. Yeah, we're gonna rack up a few of them while we're here in the, what would be the proper word for everything? Like the English Isles? The British Isles, British Isles is what they call it all. Because you don't want to offend because there have been some, some arguments over arguments who belongs to what. Arguments <laughs> over the millennia between <laughs> the countries and people that live here so you don't want to step on anybody's toes but yeah. this general area we'll call it that yeah how many countries is this number 10 for you it's number 10. oh my goodness have arrived uh and it's a place called loose l-o-o-e-s and there's a campground here let me duck out of the wind it is an absolutely gorgeous campground but there is one very 
very critical thing wrong with it and i'm it's our first one here in the uk and i'm not sure if this is standard but you know you're on a rolling hill so the campsites are literally very very uneven so uneven that we had to bust out two links levelers for this wheel a stack of three links levelers here and our go treads are on two layers there but we were able to make this work uh there's bath houses down there laundry this will do the job to kind of reset and uh i don't know just prepare for a new chapter of life here in the uk so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one Coming up in our next video, we're getting our first taste of UK van life as we explore England's Cornwall region.